here at Preston Neuro with um, Labour MP Yasmin Qureshi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolton South East. Yeah. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Can I just say it's a great pleasure to be here with you. When I was taught, we've known about what you have been to do here for some time now, and I have to say, firstly, congratulate you and thank you for your hard work and effort. It's not easy on a daily basis coming out, leaving your family and your friends behind, coming out and standing with your hair, watching what's going on, protesting peacefully, and therefore, honestly, big gratitude from the bottom of my heart to all of you people for doing this. And this is an important campaign because, let's face it, protecting our environment, protecting our health is an important thing, is a crucial thing. And the fact that we're having this exploration going on, well, we know, we know that this is going to cause harm to our people, to our young people, to our children, to affect the life and blight our community. The only reason this is happening is because the Tory government are ideologically driven to helping big businesses. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. ironic, isn't yeah. it? That girl, yeah. It's ironic, isn't it, that the company that's doing this can't frack in France, they can't frack anywhere else, but they're coming into our country and fracking away because of our pernicious government which is only bothered about profits and money. We all agree. We need energy, of course we do. But there are ways of actually... Nope. He's trading, he's been driving... I've been dropped him by the lorry. <laughs> and the bus. And the railway. And the railway replacement board. And the railway board. The sad thing is, it doesn't have to be this way. We all need energy, of course we do. But there are many other ways of getting energy. We've got plenty of water, we've got wind, we've got solar. And these things will not harm our environment, they will not harm us. And they're there forever for us to use. And what requires is some investment in renewables. And what will that do? It will give us a safe energy and create jobs and create prosperity. But this blinkered government doesn't want to see this. It doesn't see the fact that actually spending a few hundred millions or even a billion pounds into investment of renewables would actually be in the long term for the benefit of our country. Not only because they provide jobs, and so what this shows is that this is just <laughs> so I just want to say to you that some years ago, when this was being discussed in Parliament, one of the proposals I suggested was that we should have a moratorium on the whole fracking in the United Kingdom until we know it's safe. Now, you and I, we know it's not safe, but at least for those people out there who think that they don't have enough information, the idea was that we would carry out some tests, get some scientific research done, which would show the fact that fracking is safe and are dangerous. And therefore, we need to do that. I can guarantee you that when Parliament visits on the 5th of September, I will be raising this issue up again and hopefully persuading my other Labour colleagues to also and other colleagues to come as well. But at the end of the day, protecting the environment, protecting our country and our future for everyone. And it shouldn't be even a party political issue. All people should be able to join in this. So I just want to say again, thank you very much for all the work that you're doing and the work you're continuing to do. And of course, I can't do this piece without mentioning Gaither um, Frackman is on his ninth day of Christmas night. So, and I think we need, I mean, whilst there are many people here, I think we're less than 100. What we need to be able to achieve have at least 100 people here yeah. on this side. Yeah. 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 So therefore it just means of course more work on all of you and for you to talk to more of your family and friends and the local people are here.
to actually come and participate because at the end of the day when they start guess who's going to be affected the most it's the people who live around here it's their homes that are going to get destroyed it's their homes that are going to get devalued it's their health that's going to be affected and i think it's really important that people around this area should also be coming here and also general election they should be using their vote at the ballot box to get rid of people who are not sympathetic and supportive of their campaign so again today, uh, a Labour MP, Yasmin Qureshi from Bolton has come uh, to say that she supports us and to encourage more residents to come to the roadside. but it's the politicians we need. Natalie Bennett's been three times. I think we have Amelia Womack next week and um, Caroline Lucas a couple of weeks after. And uh, so far we've had uh, this Labour MP today and now we need a lot more support. You know, Mr. Jeremy Corbyn said that he would ban fracking if he was in power. And now that although he didn't get into power and he's simply in opposition, it doesn't mean that in opposition, I, uh, in opposition that you wouldn't, sorry, that you wouldn't um, still take a position within Westminster. So we're still waiting for that to happen. And there's been a big call out to Jeremy Corbyn, who's now in the area, to see if he can come here. Realise he's a busy man, uh, but it would mean a great deal to the people of our community if he could. You can see there the cows. We've asked the people check into, you know, who is uh, Wensley's Dairy supplying with this milk because these cows are grazing in a field that's for fracking. Already it's had a lot of work going on in the soil uh, to stabilise it. And later, as to, if this site manages to progress any further, which I'm not that sure that it will, uh, if this site progresses further, uh, then there'll be a great number of fracking chemicals on site and a grazing dairy herd is not what you want. I think people have been writing to Arla Milk 
who we understand were originally collecting from Wensley's farm. That's Wensley's dairy on uh, Preston New Road. And we need to find out where this milk is going. I understand some of it's finding its way into Muller. Uh, so people are writing to Muller. So that's the most effective thing you can do from home, really, if you can't be here at the roadside, is deal with the actions that require emails and phone calls, like phoning up um, you know, milk supplies and finding out, are they getting their milk for Muller? So call Muller and say, are you getting your milk from Arla? And is Arla getting it from Wensley? And finding those supply chains and ensuring that they know Oh, I love seeing cows when they run. Poor things. Make sure they know that this is uh, an industry that won't get support and that we'll vote with our pounds, if nothing else. Also, as and when you see the trucks, the lorries, the supply chain, you know, all the people who are nourishing this site against the community's wishes and railroading over us, if you can contact those companies if you see their signage and give them a quick call and civilly and politely ask that they withdraw their contract, you know, for a lot of these companies, it's a tiny contract. It's no big deal, you know? And considering they're going to get so much community resistance and fight back, is it worth their while to run that risk that when this goes wrong, that their reputation too would be tarnished with this? And, you know, for a lot of them, we consider them the same as the frackers if they don't fall, pull out. They're still part of what's going to make our kids sick. Supply chain is what keeps this company functioning. And what keeps it alive is the finances. Unfortunately, those are diabolical. You know, every year since 2011, Quadrilla spent about 17 million and uh, they can't sustain that continuous expenditure without any thing coming back. And there is currently no gas being pumped anywhere. So those are the towels online. So I'm going to go offline and I'll come back on later.